Hello, 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 friends. We are here. It's time. Friday night scrapbooking. Friday night scrapbooking friends. It is Friday. I am so excited about tonight because you are going to get blown away. I just have to say that right up front. You're going to get blown away. This is my friend Debbie who is going to talk about hybrid scrapbooking and she has the most amazing album to share with you. So it's going to be an album flip through as well as talking about all the behind the scenes stuff on how she created this magnificent album. So I just want to say a quick hello. Yes, Carrie's here. Debbie's like, make Hi, sure Carrie. Carrie's here. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to talk a little tech. Okay. <laughs> so, so good to see you. Mona's here. Julie, Joni, Joanne, Beth. We've got a little different setup. We've got the camera in front. So I'm going to look over here. Tina's here. Roslyn. Keisha's here. Welcome, welcome. Kim is here. Pam's here. Roz, Suze. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. Big hugs to you. Okay. I, I just, it's going to be so fun tonight. Just wait, just wait. Okay. So as I promised, we are going to talk about hybrid scrapbooking. And Debbie's going to share a little bit about like why she's so good, <laughs> okay, um, and in a minute, but I first just want to give you a super quick intro as to what's new right now, because there were a few things that came out today, released today, and I know you guys love to see what's new, so let's talk a minute, oh, that's not the right one, there we go, <laughs> about what's going on right now. And right now, there is a pop-up promo that just started, I think it started yesterday at noon. And uh, it is, you get this really beautiful shiplap wood grain uh, paper pack plus washi, which we haven't had washi, I think, in about three years. So this is going to be really fun uh, to see when it comes in. I have no idea when I'm actually going to get it. And there's also the gold and brown shimmer that also just released yesterday as well. So if you missed out on that gold, gorgeous gold paper, it's back. Yay, it's back. And then there was a small preview this Friday, and this is my favorite. <laughs> Whenever they say free shipping, I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> so if you are a secret box lover, guess what? You get free ground shipping when you also get your secret box on everything in your order. So I, have to get it. I know. I think I'm going to have to get it too. <laughs> and they said there's limited edition plus brand new, brand new, brand new products that um, they are putting in this box. So I can't wait to get it, but that's a new launch starting Monday at noon central. And then don't forget you get that free shipping. So if you are a happy album lover, there's a brand new 2024 happy album planner bundle. And Ooh. you can, I know, <laughs> I love the ones with the dates on them. And um, if you want to just get the albums, you can do that as well. Just get the album and do your own DIY, or they have these two other beautiful colors that you can get. So that's all happening Monday. And just because uh, they were talking happy, there is also a brand new horizontal pocket page layout for the happy albums. So what's so fun is actually we looked at a prototype for this 
when I was in New Orleans, that was like two Ooh. years ago. <laughs> and they had a lot of different things that happened with supply chain and all that. But now they um, it is finally here. And I think that there's going to be some more support for this format, the horizontal pocket pages. So you can just slide a four by six right in there along with um, the, they're going to do cards and different things like that. So it's going to be fun. I'm hoping they're going to have some kits and different things that they're going to share with us uh, very soon around this, this layout. So you can see right here, they're putting the card in. Now, I just want to give you, so that's it. That's like the, the quickest, um, uh, a preview, right, Debbie? Yeah. I mean, it was like, whoa, okay, it's over. <laughs> but I do want to just mention something. We get these last chance um, emails also. There's two on here that you really need to know about. One is the Nutcracker Border Punch is on not only last chance, but low inventory as of this afternoon when I checked. And the Sunflower Fields, they moved that to last chance. It's not in low inventory yet, but it is last chance. The Sunflower Fields, so those are brand new products. And then um, the Autumn Harvest Vellum Paper Pack uh, is also, that is actually low inventory and last chance. So I'm just saying you may want to uh, go grab some of those things, especially, Debbie, should I give them a sneak peek? Sure. Especially like if um, you're going to scrap with me at the crop tomorrow. Okay, I'm getting it ready. I haven't, and so I'm still working on the base page and border handout for my pop stars, but, ooh, how's that? So I still have to stick some of these things down. All right, one second, um, right here. Ooh, sneak peek. So if you if you like vellum, vellum, okay, sneak peek. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see her gorgeous album. So um, the pop crop is tomorrow. So if you want to scrap with me, make sure that, um, you know, you've got your membership details. You can find all of that out on my website at Craft Some Joy. So... Without further ado, we are back, Debbie. Okay. <laughs> How about that for quick news and what's new? We have so much to share. I, I can't wait for them to see your album. But before we start, um, I'd love them to know a little bit about you and kind of, you know, when when we first met, um, you were telling me all this stuff you did, and it's pretty, pretty cool, you guys. So I, I think that's one reason why you're so good at what we're talking about tonight. So I don't remember what I told you. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, sorry. And this is this is right in her way. So let me let me move that for now. <laughs> so you don't have a string in front of your face. I know we're kind of working a little different. Well, I I've yeah. I've been doing creative memories since um, 1992. Okay, that was before me. Yeah. Way. Wow. Awesome. Um, so, but yeah, you also so a did time. a lot of designing. When when we first met, you were like, oh, yeah, I was, you know, doing digital designs for so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. Oh, and yeah. So -and -so I, and I, all these. I yeah. did digital designs for um, several different people through um, that that kind of um, do Disney-inspired mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So it gave me an excuse to go to Disneyland and right. then scrapbook all my stuff. Yeah. So, um, so beautiful layers and designs and yeah. just... Very good. And and how long have you been using Photoshop? <laughs> um, probably also 1992. <laughs> so she's one of those um, techie, like both artsy and techie. So she gets the tech Carrie. side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, on how to use, you know, a program as powerful as yeah. Photoshop. And that has gone through so many iterations. Um, yeah, it was a, yeah. Photoshop 2 is when I started. Okay. What's a long time ago? <laughs> so um, that gives Debbie kind of her background. And but you are also an art history major. Yes. Which I just yes. learned today, which is, you know, kind of you, you see that in in your work. So let me just scroll, scroll through. And um, I, because I and just big hugs and hello to everybody. Do you see everybody <laughs> that's here? And um 
so let's see. Finally, Christina's here. Christina, I've got the captions on for you. Yes, there's a wire in the camera view. Thank yeah. you, Carrie. I, I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, have a, I have a new respect for Lauren and how she <laughs> sets all of this up. She's scrambling at the left. No, wait, I, it's not coming up. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot behind the scenes, yes, right? Carrie knows she's been here in studio with me yeah. and, but she handles it like, you know, Oh, that's no problem. No problem. So, you know, I'm channeling my inner Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So bef without further ado, there's a lot that Debbie's going to talk about as she goes through her album about hybrid scrapbooking. But what you need to know is these are, well, Debbie will give you it, but this is, um, this is truly a hybrid album. So there are digital creative memories, printed pages, mm -hmm. along with actual printed photos. So I'm going to move my computer out of the way. I'm going to keep uh, eye on the chat. So if you have questions, I'll kind of put a put a cue a before cue. Yes. the before your question so that she can pull yes. It out. Yes. Easier. And we're gonna put this back. Well I'll I'll let you lift that up. I'm gonna switch over to the other view again. And yeah, <laughs> I know. And you just opened your book and then I'll make sure it looks really good okay. about that. There so and and it's straight and it's as close as we can get without that. Oops, sorry guys. Without the string in the way. And where are you comfortable there, Debbie? Yeah. I'm gonna just keep working till this is in screen. So yeah, this is why I have my camera usually off to the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So look at this. Ta da! Already gives well, me goosebumps already. I, I, I did all of this in um, creative memories software, not, not the um, artisan, but the one that you can get for free online. Yeah. And then you just order your pages already printed. So you can see right. that these are, these are all on the page. There's isn't that a gorgeous beautiful color. Yeah. Look at that color. So this is not a digital 12 by 12 print that she put on no, there. this is printed on the page. On the page with the jeeping, right? Like, yes. I, I mean, she opened her book and my mouth dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Yeah. So yeah. Th this is this is our trip that we were supposed to take in 2020. And then we were supposed to take in 2021. And then we finally took it in 2022. Right. So it's right. a little history of our trip. But here we yeah. Go. Okay. So this is something I made on my computer. I um, This is a really old creative memory sticker. Yeah. So let's use what we have, right? That's right. Oops. Oh, see, that's going to get in the way, isn't it? Let me yeah, see if I can bit. pull it out of there. How's that? There we go. Is that better? Okay. okay. All right. So I don't know how we did this, but I got the Empire State Building. And the Eiffel Tower in my picture. <laughs> From the plane. From the plane. <laughs> Sometimes it's just luck. So this really shows the technique behind... I'm going to scoot this up just a bit. Okay. How's that? Right there. Um, well, maybe that's a little too... Yeah, so blurry. this is... This is the, the technique totally behind, behind Photoshop, right? Because yes. you are able to pull in all of these things. So if you are familiar with Artisan or... Or Photoshop, you know, or Photoshop. You Photoshop. This Photoshop is, elements. Yeah, um, you probably even do it in Canva. I would oh imagine. yeah, yeah. So look at that on the on the way. And so I I want to give credit where credits due. Um, this is um, we will always have Paris by Heartstrings Scrap Art, and I got it on Pickleberry Pop. Say that fast three Pickle times. Pickleberry pop. <laughs> Pickleberry pop. <laughs> uh, th this one is magical scraps galore. Her destinations above the clouds. So yeah. So you are pulling in. There's some amazing artists, basically. Right. That you're pulling their work in. But the base is a picture. That's a, yeah. that's a picture. Yeah. And this is a picture. And then these. Let's let's talk about because I know I've kind of taken a peek at her album. This you did. 
pretty much in Photoshop and dropped it in. I just dropped it in as a, a twelve by twelve. A twelve by twelve. Yeah, picture. but there, that's not always the case. So she's right. going to talk about that. So yeah. these are printed on the page, and then I've added some embellishments, and I've added a peekaboo pocket with a flip flop Fl stopper. <laughs> Should we tell them how many peekaboo pockets, or should we wait? Should you want to know them? now, or you want to you want to know later? I think we should tell them how many. Okay, so they can appreciate. So we'll save the other stuff, but just how many peekaboo pockets? <laughs> there's, there's, I think, sixty-five <laughs> four by six peekaboo pockets. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay, there's so six five by sevens, eight six by twelves, and four four by fours. Oh, so, so, so there's, I don't know who, who adds fast. Uh, there's 85. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, that was just four by six, 60. Yeah. 60 yeah. plus four by six, which Woo! is, which is why I wanted to print it on the paper because if I put that many pictures into this album, it would be three volumes. Right. And right. I just wanted one volume. So that was right. my idea about and I, I had never used uh, Creative Memories um, printed pages before. Yeah. So gorgeous. And this is Travel Log. Yeah, which, which is no longer <laughs> available. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I got it right at the end. But if you have the digital kit. But if you have the digital kit, you could, you you could, could still do you this. You could still do it. But they have lots of gorgeous kits. They do. They, really they do. do. So one, one of the things about um, doing this digitally is you can... Um, Put pictures within pictures, mm -hmm. or you can steal it from Google. I didn't take this, <laughs> right? Um, mm -hmm. Took all the rest, but I didn't take yeah, that. yeah. So um, here I just printed on my computer. This I printed on my computer. Just pasted it on there. Yeah, um, I couldn't get my my tabs to stick together, so I just stapled them. Right. And now it's a design element. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think this was one of the pages. And when I first said, I go, okay, wait a second, Debbie, we have to count. <laughs> yeah, we're not Look at, count. No, count how many pictures. Oh, what? We, how we many? came up with 17 pictures. Are on 17. Two, two was pages. it? Yeah. 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 17 pictures two pages. on two pages. Because these are all printed, printed on the page. The one underneath is printed. Yeah. Then you add a peekaboo. And I think the thing, you know, I wish you could be in person and and feel it. But when we typically scrapbook, there's a lot of bulk because we're adding paper, we're adding mm -hmm. photos, we're adding borders and titles. And that, I think, is what gave me an appreciation of this type of scrapbooking is that this is all one flat surface. And then right. it's so much less bulky because really all you're doing is adding the peekaboos. Right, and and it's a pretty bulky album, even even then. Even then, yeah, yeah. So, I took uh, pictures of menus off of the internet so that we know what we ate. So fun! Yeah. That looks good too, doesn't that yeah, look it good? We, we had that twice actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, this is a napkin from the the restaurant we were at. Isn't at that cute? Waldorf. You guys look at, she put a napkin in the peekaboo pocket. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I've never done that. I've never put a napkin in the peekaboo pocket. I love that idea. Yeah. Steal the menus off the, off the internet so that you, you know what you ate and how much it cost. Right. Because you, you probably don't want to look at that anyway. Right. Um, this was all from the internet. Um, but tell them why you put that in um, there. This is one of my favorite shows about Louis the 14th and, um, he, it kind of inspired me to go to Versailles and then Paris. So this was my transition into the Versailles section of my book. Is that fun? Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this is. Yeah. Go that. There we go. Right there. Yeah. This down is just a little bit. Down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Ooh, this look at those metallic. clouds. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. I wanted to show um, the, the metal. Because mm -hmm. it was very stark gold. And I guess in Louis the Fourteenth's day, it was real gold. Now it's painted gold. That's but crazy, yeah. really, yeah. thinking about that. Yeah. 
And and for those of you, my print at home friends, you know, Red River makes a gorgeous metallic paper. Mm -hmm. But Debbie was saying she got these at pers was it persnickety, persnickety prints? Yeah. Persnickety. Also, if you if you really are particular about your quality, um, they're really good. They they do a good job. Yeah, they do. So this is all on the on the page. I picked a different background. So fun. And then look at how you can just size them so that they all fit. Isn't that cute? Whatever you want. I just love that. Love it. So are you guys getting to see the the difference between like what's actually printed? I mean, it's really great quality, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I wish they could see it in person. It's so pretty. So here, here's here's where I decided to get crazy, but pick peekaboo pockets. So yeah, move it down a little bit. There you go. So I just did a twelve by twelve and cut it in half. And Isn't is that okay? And then that to me is so smart. <laughs> she prints a twelve by twelve, right? And this is half of it, and then that's the other half. Yeah. Right. So yeah, here, there. Okay. Okay. Can we see here? There we go. There. Then, see. Lots of peekaboo pockets because there's all kinds of things to take pictures of. So such a good idea, and and it's just me, but I want to know what who who's in this piece of art, and that that's just me. But you know, you do you with your background, yeah. Right. And uh, but this one, look at even that. That's one, two, three, four, five, five photos. Um, that was printed like that was right here. Yeah, when you printed, so you it. get an extra half a page. So. so. Yeah. yeah, more peekaboo pockets. Okay, let me let me go back over, over here, here, guys. Yeah. Oh, we're going back over here. Okay, I'll follow. I'll follow okay. Debbie, whichever she's going. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> Lots of peekaboo pockets. Yeah, and please let me know if you have questions. I see some are coming in right now. Just trying to get a little less glare. So these all go on the top, but you could certainly put them, just put them on the edge. I didn't do that because I wasn't, you know, this is my first time doing yeah. all the peekaboo pockets. Yeah. So. Um, so, yeah, okay. Well, somebody's asking the little tabbies. <laughs> flop stoppers. They're flop stoppers. So that was one of my fun inventions because you notice as she yeah. flips so her if pages. You, if, you, if you notice when you do that, it just flops and then you have to flip them back. And right. It, on the left, it's not so bad, but when you get to the right, it like right. jams into your next page. So, right. So here's perfect hybrid. I did some borders. Yeah. Are we in the center here? Yeah, there I we did go. Did some borders. And this is the Baroque border maker cartridge. Yes. Yep. And the rest are paper, paper stickers, paper. Yeah. And then this is printed, so this is flat, and then there's the peekaboo's on top. Yes. So, um. And Mara, Mara Ellen was um, asking, did she print those photos directly on the page? Yes, they These are. These are printed on the page. So this, this is, is printed on the page. Through at, creative memory. So yes. when she gets the page, of course, there's no border on it. You know, it's just a jeeped page with all this gorgeous background and her photos. Yeah, and the, this background is from, um, you can choose your background. And this gold that you see across here is um, is a, a another picture, but I've imported a piece of paper into use as I would paper. Right, right. But, but it's all on the page. So you're layering within yes. the Creative Memories digital program. She's layering the this paper and then another paper on top. Yes. Paper, but it, yes, it's, but, but they call photo. it a, like a, like they, they will call it a photo, but you're just layering the photos. Right. And you could, you could import any sort of paper or import any sort of embellishments that you have on your computer. It doesn't have to be something that, um, that is within the software already, but they, they do give you things to choose from. Right. right. But it could be from anywhere on your computer. Mm -hmm. You just mm -hmm. drag it over and there it goes. Right. Right. You can make your own. <laughs> yeah. And I've done that. So. Yeah. More peekaboo pockets because you can never have too many. <laughs> I, 
Um, and I, I, I wanted yeah. to just document what things were, you know, sort of like a art book. Right. Cause that's me. Angela saying, I wish I could see it in person too. I know it's come gorgeous. You guys come on Southern, to Southern California. Southern, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh. um, and all of all, the only thing I could say about Versailles is magnificent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. over the top. It's lavish. Um, <laughs> so lavish. lavish isn't even lavish is downgrading. Yeah. Um, the amount of money that they spent on this right was just nuts. I mean, look at the look at look at how many gorgeous photos you can just get on here too. Yeah, and like this doesn't even need an embellishment because right. every picture right. is its own embellishment. Right. And this is again, Nancy was saying such a great tip for the six by twelve peekaboos. This is another one that she did, right? Because, and, and Debbie had another good tip, whenever you have something that has a really, what would you call it, like a tall portrait feature, yeah. like a fountain or this uh, arch window, what a great um, choice for a tall. Yeah, window. and you'll see that later too, that he, yeah. he did the same thing. Okay, so here's, here's the million dollar question, mm -hmm. and Debbie's going to talk about this too but Shannon's asking do you come up with the whole layout <laughs> with peekaboo pockets before you print the pages I um I kind of laid out in my how I did my pictures how I would have like a folder for for each uh section so I knew that I we we saw um the order of the buildings that we walked, the rooms that we walked through. Um, and yes, I, uh, I knew that I wanted all the Napoleon stuff and the statues. This, mm -hmm. this is what, what this section of Versailles had in it. So I, I planned out all these pictures and then I planned out the peekaboo pop. Mm -hmm. And this talks about, this talks about that. And, and I think and, the thing that you notice here too is some, like when you do it that way, when you, I like the idea of folders, by the way, you can say, all right, like these photos, this is all, all I can do four by six, four by six, four by six, but then I need to squeeze these in. Right. And then these, okay, now I need, you know, these we measured, I think we were about two by two and a half by three and a half. Yeah. And she, tell them how you did that. Well, I, I just figured I wanted four across the bottom because I knew how many pictures I had. And s some pictures, they don't need to be four by six and some need to be 12 by 12. Right. So. Um, <laughs> All your little statue pictures. Right. It's so, good. Yeah. And, and oh. I was picky about the statues because, you know, they, they all have a significance to, to my interest in Versailles. Um, so, but I, I just figured I, I put four across and if they were too big, I just drug them smaller and copy them and until mm -hmm. I got four that went across Looked the way I wanted them. And you can see, and she left that beautiful border. Yeah. Which is printed. So again, this is printed. So this layer this is, is printed. All, this is all printed. Yeah. This is all printed. And then this is. So like, top. this is just a page. Yeah. There's nothing on top. And you can add your you can add your writing. type, yeah, titles, all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So now we're outside. So she does. So to answer your question, Shannon, yes, do, that you. I did plan out. She does a lot of planning. If you know Debbie, you know she's a planner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll show you later. <laughs> so, um, some of my pictures I wanted to put where it was that we were, and. Um, so I just put it on the picture. Yeah. So I don't even have to have a journal box. But, it, okay, so I have to just move it over a little. Mm -hmm. This is funny because I took a picture of them taking a selfie and there's the selfie. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's what you get when you have four people taking pictures. Yes. Four, four, photo, four photographers. This now, ends up with a lot of photos. Um, something that I, you know, 
you have to be aware of is if you put a four by four, four by six picture down, and then you put a four by six peekaboo pocket on it, you don't always get the sizing quite right. So sometimes it pokes out on the edges. So. And that's one of your learnings, right? That's one of my learning and things. And here, yeah. we'll get a little closer so you can see. See, there's a little edge here. Do you here, see that? There's a little edge here that's showing because, you know. I may have made it a little bit bigger than four by six or right. the peekaboo pocket was off just a little bit. So, so we're going to, we're going to talk about that a little yeah, later. We'll talk about that, but yeah. Um, here's five by sevens and then smaller ones inside. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? I love this. And, and what's so nice is, you know, the, Photos that you featured for your larger ones are just mm -hmm. stunning. Just so nice. Yep. La little layering from Lauren. Thank oh, you. yes. <laughs> A layering shape. Um, no. I paid her to plug the flop stoppers and layering shapes, you guys. <laughs> well, you use what you like. You do you. Yes. So, you know, this is... This is from, And this, this is on from, a little um, home square. This is from Homestead. Mm-hmm. This is from Boho Escape. And that's on, so she's added dimension in her album. Yeah, I it's got a little yeah, phone screen. That. It's so cute. This, is, this one does too. Yeah. Can you, yeah. Sorry, Debbie. Uh, but I want them to see it close. Okay. <laughs> so, there we go. So I did show this at, we had hobby day go. at work. And um, so everybody was bringing their hobbies and I brought all my creative memories scrapbook albums and I brought this one so. mm -hmm. I love this layout so Debbie's like I discovered four by fours <laughs> <laughs> yes. four by four peekaboo pockets but isn't this fun that you know you can you've got you've got three of them printed yeah, and, underneath and actually this green here and this black here um, they were actually um, mats that they had in the embellishment part of the package mm, of, for travel. Right, on. right. And I just made a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Till it filled, Til it the, filled the whole thing. Yeah. Made one big, one big background. Yeah. There we go. But you know, it's it's there's there's no extra layers of paper mm -hmm. here, but it looks like it is. It looks. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So yeah. Adding embellishing here and here. But other than that, this is all printed on the page. So the color, gonna, I mean, I hope you can that. see that. The color is outstanding on the printed page. It really is. Really, really. I'm, I'm, I didn't have a picture, so I just put a card in there. Yeah. I think I, when I originally saw this too, Debbie, one thing I want you to appreciate about what she does too is that the, um, editing, right? Like, did you spend time? Because people are like, Lauren, do we really have to edit? Did you spend time editing? I did. <laughs> and I edit. doesn't it make a difference? I... <laughs> so when, when you print your pictures, whether you print them at Creative Memories or you print them at Persnickety Prints or you print them at, you know, um, whoever, whoever's doing Costco's stuff now, mm -hmm. um, the ad contrast and that makes your picture a little bit darker. Right. So if your picture's already a little bit dark, then you want to brighten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of programs that'll do that. You can do it in Lightroom, Photoshop. You can do it in, um, you can just. The native apps for people's yeah. phones. Yeah. You know, even that right. too. Yeah. So and the sometimes answer's you get yes. It right and sometimes you know. So yeah. Um, but that's one thing I noticed looking at her album, how, how well, I think that, that that's the difference when you see a, a printed on a page. Sometimes when I've seen them, they look really dark, but I think that the editing behind this really made everything stand out. So I nice also way. used to be a wedding photographer, so well, I know how to edit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, I hid my journaling here. I'll share it with you a little bit. But um, five days before we left for our vacation of a lifetime, 
the apartment that we had rented for seven and a half days or seven days, um, they canceled. Yeah. Five days. Just, just not right. Because they had, That is just not right. Because <laughs> I originally scheduled it in 2020 and they had a no refund policy. And I talked them in. Who knew there was going to be a pandemic? Yeah, right. So they they let they they let they let us reschedule it for a year later. And in 2021, we still couldn't go. We still couldn't fly. So she let us book it to 2022. But for some snafu with um, Verbo, um, it ended up expiring. And so I had to give her the deposit separately. So now I wasn't working within Verbo. I was working with her directly. And so she could cancel and keep my money. Not right. Uh, which she did. A lot of it, too. <laughs> money, that is. Yeah. This is not right. It, it was, no, so was right. $3,000. Yeah. Yeah. But we found another apartment. Which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And, and it was the perfect location. And we just made the best of it. Yeah. We weren't going to cancel our plans because right. somebody was not being ethical. But, right. So right. So here's my, I, I, I wrote it up. I put a little. Want to go up <laughs> a little bit? Hang on. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So Whoops, I just did a go. little. Yeah. Little fun thing here. And I typed up. And then all typed my up the whole story. story. Yeah. So there's two peekaboo pockets there. Oh, a double, and, and that's yeah. on that. That was that's some embellishing that they give you, that you could layer things from from the CM collection. Yes, and so that was one of the questions that just popped up. Mara asked, "What printer? Creative memory? <laughs> Creative memories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do all that. So it's all their ink and their pages yeah, they, and the all old, of it. The only yeah. pictures that I printed." Other than cre creative memories were the 12 by 12s because creative memories doesn't do that anymore. Right. Right. So I did the five by sevens and the 12 by 12s. Outsourced. Outsourced. Yeah. Yeah. And there was another um, question. Where was it? Oh, what did I think? Okay. So, so it has the jeeping. And so this all done in the free creative memories online designer right yes. so a lot of this outside of like the first pages you saw that debbie did with um photoshop and different things you know and some of these are sprinkled in here but like this could easily be done in the cm yes yeah yeah and most of it yeah 99 percent of it is um this pictures i took from a video that i screenshotted it on my phone and then Such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, because you need the pictures. Oh, is Eric one of your... your? Eric said, Hobby Day was a success because of you. Yes. Hi, one Eric. Of your... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, Eric. <laughs> I saw that come up. Um, Liz has a question. How long did just the planning take <laughs> before the printing? Well, well, you can ask Eric how how many hours a week do we work? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, she Debbie has a full time job. I have, I have a full I have a full time <laughs> job, and I still have kids at home, right. and um, and a husband, and oh, you know, and so <laughs> you know, that, 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 there, there'd be weeks where I didn't work on it, and right. so I can't really give you a timeline. Um, I I tend to get focused in when I do work on scrapbooking stuff. So I'll be at mm -hmm. my desk for 12 hours or 14 hours. Um, do a long session. Yeah. That's good. And it's good. Cause when you're in the zone, you kind of keep going. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and I didn't do it from front to back. I, I would pick a certain thing that I wanted to work on and then that's what I would work on. Yeah. So if I wanted yeah. to work on Versailles, the Eiffel Tower, yeah. <laughs> Versailles or, or the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Look at this. This is another metallic Print. So it's so gorgeous. Th th this is something else I learned. We went to this place, and that's the only picture we took. <laughs> right. The rest of these are all from Google, mm -hmm. because we were having so much fun being together that I, we forgot to take pictures of each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who knew? Yeah, it happens. And that was our. 
By the way, this is our first day in Paris. All of this was Versailles. <laughs> right. Right. This, this was the first thing we were doing. We, we took a Seine cruise, and um, this was our first time seeing the Eiffel Tower at, at sunset. twilight. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful, oh, it's so right? There's the, the brochure. I think I have that same brochure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, little, a little paper in here. Yeah. From, from so Travelog. And there was another question about, do you print just one at a time with CM? You did the whole. Um, you have to, you have to choose between uh, 16 pages or two pages. 16 or two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you did the whole 16. I did the whole 16. Yep. So here's another thing that I learned. You cannot put two peekaboo pockets, one on top of the other vertically. Right. Because they won't flip. <laughs> yeah. They have the little extra. Yeah. They have the little extra. So I just put them on top of each other. See? Yeah. Just put them on top of each other. And that works. And you can still type and stick it on there. So fun. And it, it really does help when you stick it to the page. Mm -hmm. You don't get that gap. Right, right. So if you notice here, what I think, you know, I just have to keep pointing things out. Sure. But this is pretty much a five by seven, right? Yeah. If not bigger. Two gorgeous big five by sevens and then four by six, four by six under here, and then, you know, the extras. Like that is a lot of ink. Yeah. <laughs> if you were going to print it or have it printed and look at the color, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. And this also shows you editing. I can see that you spent time editing these photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because look how good that looks. So and I'm just saying. This is on top. <laughs> you don't have to put everything on, on the page. Right. You can just stick it on top of the yes. page protector if you want. Nancy says your photography experience shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Nancy. I agree. This is one way, <laughs> reason you need to have big yes. pictures. Yes. This giant picture. Isn't that fun, though? Wait till she tells you about that trip. I mean, you have to, are you going to tell me okay, now? Okay, so <laughs> um, we, we took a, uh, we booked a two-hour tour in a 1976 VW bus because we just wanted to see everything. This was our, our second day. The first day we did the Sen cruise, and this day we did, and, and it was two hours, and by the time the two hours was done, we said, can we hire you for another hour? And he did three more hours. <laughs> Because it was so good. Because we yeah. were all having a great time, and he was laughing, and he was great toward So, oh, here you can kind of see. Look at the, yeah. the VW bus. I mean, yeah. It's so cute. And that was your driver, right? That's our driver. Yeah. Name is Chris. So fun. And printed right on the picture. Isn't that awesome? Okay, why is this so crooked? Is it me, or is it the... There. Yeah, it's oh, it's me. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to know that this was the Pompidou Center and that this was uh, the Luxor Obelisk and this was Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, yeah. So see? this was Place Vendôme. And I, think I this love was that. Cut from a piece of paper. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then um, someone had a question Did you do this work on a laptop or all on your phone? I did it on my PC. On her PC. Not an Apple, a PC. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I there's, there's an Apple PC today. <gasps> Which so is always nice because you have a bigger screen, right. you know, to see. Yeah. Again, printed right on top. So gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah, come come this way. Yeah. So, so you can see. Um, okay. I, I, I think everybody knows that you can, there's a panorama feature on your phone that yeah. you can take a panorama of something but it tends to like bend it and it's kind of distorted in some places my husband took 16 pictures all the way across from the view from sacre Coeur right here and um photoshop has a um a feature that you can align layers and so i just put it in align layers and it came up Two inch border. I want to learn how Perfect. to do that. <laughs> I yeah. will show you how. I know. Which we're going to get to. We're going to get to. Possibly. 
But I love but that. That there, is there, such a there, great There's the picture, picture of our beautiful little bus that we could stand up in the top. To me, that would just and, be so and, fun. And view all of Paris. I told Debbie, if, if I ever go back, I want to take a VW tour. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be really weird because the, the lights are really bothering me. I'm going to see if I can. Where'd that post-it go? Oh, thank you. I think all we're right, almost friends. to the middle, so we I don't know. need to post it. There, that's but, better. Okay. okay. All right, you guys. Yeah. So again, less reflection. 12, um, I, I didn't do 6 by 12 on the back. There we go. Yeah. I just did three pictures. Three. Those are print and printed pic pictures, yeah. so yeah. And again, look at how many gorgeous. You've got the, the whole... That's such yeah, a good you could, idea. You can label the pictures. Such a good you can idea. label what, what it is. You could mm -hmm. you could journal on top of the pictures. It, it allows you to do that in the software. Oh, now I'm crooked. There we go. So day three. <laughs> <laughs> See, but who's counting? <laughs> See how many we yeah, have, and it's only right? day three. <laughs> it was the trip of a lifetime, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, another peekaboo pocket. And it's going to be on. Uh, yes. We, okay. So we say, saved our our. Um, this is a menu and our receipt to show how much we spent. If you want to know later how much you spent. Yeah. Which you know, five years from now you're going to go. Oh, oh you that, that was a cheap. Yeah. That was a cheap dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right. But these okay. are all these are all printed on there. So Laura has a question mm -hmm. and Laura, maybe this will help. I'm going to kind of have a, a visual. So she's saying, um, do you, okay, wait. Um, the photos are actually printed on pages. Yes. And were you able to design the background? So I want you to think of like this as your computer screen and Debbie's going to pull in the background paper. And then she's going to pull in a mat and place that on top. Mm -hmm. And then I don't have a photo. Let's see here. Let's see. You've got a photo. And now you're going to pull in the photo and place that on top. And you do this all in layers. Right. In the computer. But then when it prints, you're printing all of this on the page. So you're actually scrapbooking like that. Now, if she's talking about this background, this little grid mm -hmm. background here, um, there are um, a variety of um, backgrounds you can choose from, or you can you can pull in a whole um, like they have have a Disney inspired mm -hmm. album, and it'll pull in sixteen pages of Disney. Um, like pre-designed, like with but, with stuff on yeah, them. Yeah, but they're yeah. they're what do you call them? <laughs> the um, templates. Fab. F f oh, fast uh, to fab. fab. Yeah, they're yeah. fast to fab pages. Right. They look just right. like the fast to fab right. pages. But there there's a whole variety of them mm -hmm. that, that are on that you can choose from to start your album. Yeah. But you don't have to. Um, you're you're not obligated to use that particular one or in the order that they give it to you right. you can move things around and like um the the versailles ones that i have gold backgrounds i just change the background mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can you, you can change them up any way you want yeah so i hope that that makes sense if you've never done digital i can see how oh, it would be confusing right like how do you do <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, everybody knows what layering is because we layer embellishments. Right. So it's right. just one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing. Mm -hmm. But then it prints all in one shot. Like, this is all printed on the page already. And then you put the picture on, you put the picture on, you put the text on, and they print this whole thing. With all this that looks yeah. like layers on, and layers on, and layers. On their, yeah. Their pages. So amazing. Isn't this awesome, you guys? I wish you could see it in person. So, I mean, it looks good here. I mean, I'm is, saying look it looks the good. Colors. You can't yeah. beat the colors. Yeah. This, this, is, this is all printed. This is all printed. This is not. 
This was from. Um, oh, I think that's Wonderlust. The... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So cute. So you know you can you can put in little mats behind. Your so pictures. that would be another layer you can pull mm -hmm. in and do that. Yeah. So since since I had um, three years to plan this because <laughs> it got canceled <laughs> twice. twice huh? um, yeah. I, I saw the movie Midnight in Paris, like my husband would say, yeah, you've seen that 12 times. Yeah. <laughs> you don't right. want to see that again? <laughs> so I made him go to the steps where, um, or he, where the character went to pick up his, his vehicle of the future mm, or the right, past. Right. So where he goes in and then yeah. he ends up. So like, I, yeah, I made, I made yeah. these people move. <laughs> so that I could take this picture. Take you, right. So yeah. Then my my husband had this little chair that was like Tinker Toy, how to put it together. So. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know about you, but I want one of those. I want one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nutella and banana crepe. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are so, so good. good. But I think we could probably. Do you think we can move that? Yeah, we there. Can. Okay. So. Might be easier for you to slide. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. I don't know where we're going. Yeah. It, it, now there we it's go. It's the other way. There you go. I know. <laughs> it's all uh, upside down and backwards. Okay. So we've got more questions coming in. Um, so you edit your photos before yes. you load them in. Yes. 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 And Laura's saying owning a Mac can't use Artisan, but if you have the download artwork, is there a way to do these kind of books with CM? Yeah, and actually, Laura Ann, I have a word for you. Canva. <laughs> or right? you, you could even get or, Photoshop or Elements, Photoshop. Yeah. which is a standalone software for $99, and sometimes you can get it for $59 mm -hmm. on Adobe. Right. And um, and that does a lot, lot of things that you can... Super powerful. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to do the layers like we saw that stitched... Um, uh, panoramic you you could easily do that with photoshop so mm -hmm. and photoshop is both ios based and yes pc based so you can and use it both you can also get the powerful one the full version for 14 dollars a month <laughs> right right that's what i do I, well i have the suite i have the yeah. adobe suite love it so and your four by six doesn't always have to cover a four by six it can cover smaller pictures yeah and it doesn't have to go next to a four by six, as you can see. That's a yep, bigger one. It just kind of goes over. I think Lauren taught me that. Oh, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you size your pictures differently. This is right. something that we, we love. So we made them big. Right. Right. And you and your daughter. This is her daughter. I don't think you told them that's your daughter. Oh, this is my daughter. <laughs> and her hubby. So and my husband. <laughs> her friend, Rebecca. And... You know, I, lo I love to do this. She's taking a picture. That's the picture she took. <laughs> right. So fun. And uh, so the next day we took a, a, um, a, a private guided tour. And um, this was this was part of our tour. He took us to this uh, local restaurant. Uh, it's not real touristy. Uh, this is where all the locals go. And, and uh, Bouillon mm -hmm. Chartier. Mm -hmm. There's three of them in Paris, if you care to know. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Google picture. <laughs> right. Because I didn't take that. Right. Which, you but. know, that always helps fill in, fill in for sure. Yeah. You don't get a picture of the front of the building. Somebody did. Somebody did. And it's on Google. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen is saying, hello, Miss Kristen. She loves this, especially for someone like her who doesn't have a lot of space to lay it all out. And she also has itty ones at home, little bitty ones who want to get their fingers in everything. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, if you, if, 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 well, even if your cats like to help you. Even if your cats, them, yes. <laughs> which mine do. If, if the computer's open, they, they, right. they, want, they want to lay on it. But, um, yeah, yeah I, I get it with the, with the kids and they... Mm -hmm. they and the thing with digital is you can do a couple of pictures and then Come move back on to, to something it. else. Yeah. 
So, so that might be great for someone, you know, like Kristen who has small ones and you can just sit with your kids on the couch and, you know, your laptop or whatever and do a little work. And yeah, so this, this yeah. was May of 22 and I just finished it. Yeah. I think I'm doing good. It's a year. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Laura's question is continued or this kind of thing done in Canva on a Canva type program. Yes. So you can, you, like we said, we could, you could either do this in Canva. So remember I've shown videos with, um, Carrie here and different things where you can pull in CM digital kit. So CM's artwork into a program like Canva, that's very basic, but it's free. Or if you want something that does a little more, I, I love Adobe um, products, so I would recommend Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, which is a... And there, there are plenty, plenty of version. tutorials on Photoshop and how to use it for different yes. things. Yes. So, and, and then you, you ex export it. Sorry, right. You, ex you export it as a JPEG, mm -hmm. which is a type of this type of picture, um, JPEG or PNG P -N -G, um, file. And then you just, when you're bringing in your pictures, you would bring that 12 by 12 in mm -hmm. and just fill up the As page. a picture. You bring, so basically you bring this whole designed. Which is what, what which yeah. is, which is what I did back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I brought, a, th this was a JPEG picture. Then in the software, I told it that I want one picture per page and fill it up. And then I just, you know, drag that picture in there and there it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you, when you use CM's um, program, you know, you basically, you say, I'm going to make 12 by 12 pages, right? And so you'll, you'll import it. There's this little side panel that holds all your photos. Are you guys interested in maybe... <laughs> Having a tutorial Learning. on this. I know, right? So we can't squeeze it in tonight, but Debbie and I are talking about that. Oh, look at this one. I love this. Love so this. This this one, instead of flipping over, it flips up. Up. So, so fun. now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures. Yeah. I love it. And then so pretty. 10, 11, and 12, because I have to add another peekaboo pocket. At the bottom. <laughs> of course. This is our guide. His name is Corey Fry. He's the French Fry in Paris. <laughs> he has lots of videos on YouTube about Paris. He's from New York and married a, a French woman and um, now has lived there for 10 years. And he's a tour guide. And his so tours fun. are great. He shows you history of things on his his tablet. That's um, awesome. We, we, Just we had, a, it in. had yeah. a morning tour of the hidden pa the covered passages and then we went to lunch and then he gave us a tour of the marais so nice and so nice yeah this page is so lofty because there's no peekaboo pockets on the front and there's no peekaboo pockets on the back <laughs> it's just so a it's naked just page, a page. <laughs> okay so a couple other questions like see peekaboo's inserts and tabs. Where can I get those? Oh, well, those are right on the Creative Memories website. Um, you have the some Pico. tabs too. Yes, but the the flop stoppers, those you have to go to Craft Some Joy. No, I mean, you 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 have some. Oh, um, tabs. Yes. yes, I have those too. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was part of of the travel log, and mm -hmm. um, and since they weren't sticking together, I just stapled them on. Yes. And since I started stapling them on, I had to staple the rest. So. And we're already getting some yeses for a tutorial. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So um, if you yeah. don't like feet, you don't have to look at this one. But when we were at that church that I showed a little bit earlier, um, I fell down the stairs. Not good. Not good. Not and, good. And um, so I had to, you know, because we're scrapbookers, we, we, we have to like tell, tell the story. Yeah. So <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I thought I broke my big toe. So I told the story, but you don't have to look at it if you don't like it. But I think this is actually really cool. So, but, um, again, Debbie's talent. Okay, so I, I, I saw this um, paper and I wanted to copy it because 
I wanted to have, you know, a title to go with the next the section. The museum section. Right. We're getting so, into museum section. I saw this from Scrapbook Customs, and um, but it was the Louvre Museum. So um, I decided that I was going to make the Orsay Museum. And I didn't scan it and copy it that way. No. I no. did yeah. all the typing and yeah. arranging myself. And this is my picture. And that's her photo. But isn't that... So I love this because we can get inspired. Right. You know, and then just but, wait, because then it then give them, a theme. I always want to give them credit, yeah, and absolutely. I bought their product. Yes. So. Yes. Was yeah. this in here in the U.S., or was this in France? I oh, just, no, that was um, uh, scrapbook.com. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I love that it has. So these are lo la longitude and latitude. Thank you. And she actually, you were telling me she looked, looked up, up where they were in for the Orsay, because there wasn't. Yeah. There wasn't a um, so now I'm going to be one for yeah. arrested for copyright infringement. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so th th this you one is credit. This credit. Th this one is fun. Oh yeah, because, this one we have to kind of scooch, huh? Um, th this shows my my art history, kind of. Um, it, this is what I like to do, so. I don't think we can see the whole thing. You Hold can't on. See the whole thing. There, there, oh, there we go. Do, yeah, yeah, there, perfect. So. This one and this one. <laughs> yeah. So the do you see, yeah, flip perfect. Mm-hmm. So remember how we've done, um, uh, what do we call it? Like, yeah, trifold or double fold. Yeah. Flip out. Peekaboos. And tell them how you did this. That was so smart. I, I took a picture of, you know, the little plaque that they have next to the, the pictures, you know, this little teeny tiny plaque. Yes. And um, then I put it all on one picture. And enlarged it, right? Enlarged That's so it. smart, Debbie. Because <laughs> usually they're, you know, yeah, you tiny, <laughs> tiny, so you can't read them. So again, just pulling those two pictures together yeah. like this and printing it. Love that idea. Okay, so. now we're all, am I crooked or is it, there we go. There, perfect. <laughs> so okay. yeah, I because I want to know that this was Monet and this is... Rodin. Yeah, Van Gogh. Van, Van Gogh. Yeah. <gasps> Van Gogh. My favorite, yeah. the Impressionist. Oh, telling you. Mm. Stunning. Such a great uh, compilation, isn't it? Just yep. so. And this was this was a card mm -hmm. that you could put in there. And then I, I have that. Picture. I have that. That's a map hack card. <laughs> Yeah, but this, this was part but of... But that's the, printed, yeah. 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 So then I just put in my embellishing because it looked like it needed to have yeah. something there. It's perfect. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so um, the the process is the same as the 8x8 paper albums. So when you select to make a custom 8x8 paper album... That process is the same, except you're designing on a 12 by 12 format for mm -hmm. the pages. So, yeah, if you've done a paper album, a custom paper album, it will be the same um, program. <clears throat> so, 6.06 p.m. Oh, well, thank you, it's Siri. 6.06. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about that? Up. Um, so... Uh, how do you organize to keep track of which photos were being printed on the page and what sizes to print separately and keep it all organized to remember what goes where? That's a really powerful question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try not to be too techy. Um, as I, I would, I would build my page as I wanted to see it. And then I would take a screenshot of it and put it in Word, on a Word document. Then I would take those pictures out, and then I would put, okay, so what do I want the second layer to be? Mm. So then I would put those pictures in. Mm. And I would take a screenshot of it and put it in Word. And then that left the base pages, and then I put the base pages in and I'd leave it. Mm -hmm. So that's what got... Pan that's what got printed were the base pages and then I would have so then I would have three sets 
of pages and I would know that this is the top one and that's the second one and that's the base one. That's smart. I get it. I hope you get so it. Does, does yeah. that make does that make sense? Yeah. But I would I would just keep so track just of it with screenshots and word screenshots which is in word. For us visual people, that's a really smart thing to do. Right? And then you could just go and then I, I from also, the screenshots you probably just made a note like print this, print you know, print yeah. four by six yeah. or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. And um I also took my memorabilia and I measured it. Mm. So I knew that I wanted to put this in. This is a six by eight. But they don't have six by eight peekaboo pockets. So I cut mine. But I realized when I cut it that it left the back end kind of floppy. So I just stapled it. Yeah. Oh, I and I still think... <laughs> I can still get it out. Yeah. But I just stapled the top. And it's kind of bent, but yeah. Who cares? <laughs> and Mona was asking if the staples might rust. Um you know, we're in Southern California, so we don't really have that much of an issue. But, but I think it would depend on, you know, if you're in a high humid environment, yeah. you might be careful with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Mona, you're in Southern California, too. They do have, they do, <laughs> they do have coded staples. Yeah. That I, but I don't really know about that. But yeah, this was really cool because you could go upstairs and you look through this giant clock. And then you could see... Sacre Coeur through the clock. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? I think there's a little cafe there too, right? Yes, there is. Cafe. They were mm -hmm. closed. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, they're, but there's there's two places okay. you could go. So, so then okay. I had to have a clock. Of course. <laughs> That's home, uh, Homestead? It's oh, okay. um, Homestead, yes. Okay. This is all... What is what was this? Cue the blue. Cue the blue. Yes. Cue Gorgeous. All of these things. Mm. Perfect for your photos. Yeah, because there's a lot of blue in here. So this is uh, Saint Chapelle, where they kept uh, crown uh, thorn or crown of thorns. Mm. So and pretty. The flying buttresses. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. So, oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And just like we would take our embellishments and yeah. stick it, there's no layers. That's just well, I, I did it in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing, the thing with um, Creative Memories software, is the the one, the free one, is that you can't do shadowing. And mm. I wanted to do shadowing. Yes. So I had this yes. in it. I had this in digital, so I didn't Photoshop, and then I imported the picture. And the other thing, uh, I'm just noticing, this this actually looks like vellum, because you probably changed the opacity. I or is mean, that a different paper? It's a different paper. Oh, that's a different paper. I was thinking I was seeing the yeah. yeah. But yeah, but it does. Do, I think it has could, a vellum. You could do that. There. Yeah. So. So amazing. Okay, so I don't know what I do with the other page. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one? Yeah. So there, there's the original, and there's mine, because I took this picture. Yeah. I love it. And then Photoshop can do this kind of cutout, too. So easy. Yes. And remove the background. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and they're saying, ouch, your poor toe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it wasn't broken. Oh yeah, that's good. Huh? It was, it was, it was fine. Oh, and Kathy's going on a Viking river cruise oh, there you to go. Paris to Normandy. Oh. Okay. Get oh. ready, Kathy. Uh, Kathy, you need hope... a travel partner? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So, so, so yeah, yeah she's little, saying little genius organizer you are. In fact, you should show, but you should show them your little cheat sheet over there. Oh, which one? This one? No, the, the, that, like that. This? Right? Yeah. Oh. Just yeah, like, I mean... like you could just, you know, the idea is you take a screenshot and then you make notes. That's all. Yeah. That's all. So right? I would know that this was travel log and this was. The cover, the co the uh, all my covers from Carrie Bradford, and this is from, you know, yeah, wherever. exactly. So, um, uh huh. Okay, Liz says this is fabulous. 
Thank you, Liz. <laughs> And I, I'm, I think her comment got cut off. Um, have you had people look at this album and, I'm not sure, and, and what? Ooh, and, I don't know. And drool? Yes. <laughs> Including yes, myself. Yes. Uh, we, 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 we had Hobby Day at work and I, I had this album out for Hobby Day. Yeah. Now, everybody didn't open all the, fl the, the flop stoppers to look underneath. Yeah. But, yeah. um. Yeah. But it's there we, we if you need today. it. Yes. yes. And I have to say, when so, well, Debbie, I, I like you were, you're, okay, you were like maybe there, halfway done, not even halfway. When I first saw it, yeah, you guys, I begged her. <laughs> I saw, it took me, what, three months to get you in here? Yeah. Three, four months? Yeah. yeah so. So, wait, I have to point something okay. out. Um Art is subjective to the eye of the beholder, right? Of course. So doesn't he look like a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there's the boogie boarding angel. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that yeah. got my family. Uh, but you know what? Yeah. Every, everybody is uh, clamoring to see Mona Lisa. And I'm going, sweetie, come over here. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. And he went, really? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, and nobody was looking at that. Right. Everybody was in line for the other one. Yes. So. Okay. Um, yeah, and and it's really hard to tell what embellishments have been added and what have been printed, and that's the beauty of digital too. Yeah. And you can keep all your memorabilia. There's my Louvre museum. Yeah. Map. This is all printed. Yeah, there's the Eiffel Tower. Again, the same same format. Format Lang longitude. How, why can those longitude not work? and latitude? latitude. I, those just don't want to come out of my oh, mouth tonight. Oh, that, well, they're staying. Yeah. There you go. So pretty. So those are, are five, five by seven. Sevens. Yeah. This is um, metallic paper. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you can see mm -hmm. with the blue. It's Gorgeous. That's, that's not the yeah. reflection. That is the picture. So. Yeah. And Amy says, you are a great photographer. Ditto. Ditto. Well, there's four of us taking pictures. Yes. So I don't know who took <laughs> what pictures. Uh, this was a selfie. Mm. I am really bad at selfies, but she's really good because she's young. <laughs> yeah, I know. They just know how to do it. Yeah. I don't know. Chocolate Eiffel Tower. Oh, nice. <laughs> and... We were at this level because this is plenty high. Right. <laughs> Going up here was not, no. But it looks like you're, the girls did. No, no, no. That was the second level. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, that's plenty high, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so here's some more so silver fun. border that I did. Yeah. With a little wooden embellishment. Uh -oh. Another that's another metallic, metallic you can just paper. see. So just a hint, you know, if you do go on a trip that has some of these pictures, golds and blues, and seem to, yeah, you know, really anything that's pop. metal will really pop. Yeah. So, you know, I take pictures of, you know, the food and the restaurant. Well, and, macarons. And just, of course, take yeah. pictures of everything. Yeah. Let's Isn't that pretty? Mm. Yeah, that was coming down the elevator. So neat. Such a cute picture of you, too. I oh, just <laughs> love it. <laughs> he was choking you. That's cute, though. It shows he loves you. <laughs> oh, my I like goodness. this one. My daughter took that one. Oh, yeah. But it was, Looking a, it was up, a gorgeous, really gorgeous yeah. sunrise, a sunset. Yeah. Oh. And then the sparklies come out. In the, mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just great. Uh, this was our last full day. And we just, we didn't plan anything. We just decided we were just going to wander around and and see what we could see. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we went and got, you know, I said, I haven't had my creme brulee yet. Oh. And so we got creme brulee at Les Philosophes. And we got Mexican food <laughs> in Paris. In Paris. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, um, we found an Italian restaurant that we loved mm. called Italy. And then I come home and I find out there's one in Irvine. 
<sighs> so but you can. My, my husband was happy about his dessert. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. Doesn't that look? Oh, I know. Look good? Okay, so I have to tell you something. Mm. So there's a a new restaurant that opened up here uh, called Uovo. Have you heard of it? No. Uh-uh. It's in Pasadena, and they fly their pasta in Ooh. from France. Oh. oh, no, from Italy. I'm sorry. From Italy. But the reason I'm saying this, because this is what it, I mean. Oh, yeah. that was. He said, well, the reason we have to fly it in is because the eggs are different. The eggs Over are there. Diff- you know what? Everything's different. The eggs yeah. are different. Um, the water is different. You can, yeah. they have fountains all over the city and you can drink right out of them. Yeah. You don't have to have bottled water. Um, yeah. And the process. And he they, was saying the process of they, they actually don't, making They it. don't use as much processed things that we do. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, they've actually got a, um, I don't know, uh, the, the government's making everybody t- put less salt in the food. Oh, oh, so, oh, well, there you yeah, go. So. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That must not have a flop stopper. On. Oh, oh, Liz finished her. Um, if they've looked at your album and asked questions about where you were and sit for hours. <laughs> yes, 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 they Very have. Good. And uh, once it was all together, how long did you sit and just go through it? <laughs> how many album? times have you flipped through your own album? <laughs> oh, a lot. Huh? Well, I sat through Hobby Day and yeah, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and I showed you and I've showed my husband and anybody else that'll sit through it. But, and now all of you. Yeah. So, um, so amazing. Th- th- this is interesting because this page is not printed. Right. That's this a fast to fab page. This is a fast to fab page. Right. Mm-hmm. This is a printed page. So the colors are a little different if it's, you can it's notice. It's a tiny bit different. Mm-hmm. But I wanted yeah. to do that so that I could show you that there was a little bit of difference. Yeah. yeah. Great restaurant. Highly recommended. We got there and they were full. <laughs> oh. But, oh, know, look at that. Yeah. girls. Mm. You know, flower shops. We don't have flower shops like I that. I know. Everything's just so photogenic, right? Mm. <laughs> it is. And Kathy, I think we answered your question. Debbie just went to the second level. Not all the way to so the top. I I haven't so finished this one. Still got some good pictures, yeah. even from second level. Yeah, have a, have a three by four. They're going away. I know. Well, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. gone. Mm. There you go. Yeah. So, um, across from our apartment that we rented was we were in the gay section, which is a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> so they they had a a gay bar across the street. And I was waiting downstairs for Will. He had to go back in the apartment for something. And they were having a birthday party. And uh, they were all singing happy birthday. So I sang happy birthday too. And then they brought me cake. <laughs> I was like, oh, how nice. Yeah, it was very that nice. Was so, so sweet. So la- the last page is my synopsis of our whole vacation. The good, the bad, the ugly. This is so stinking cool, you guys. I'm so, telling you. You know, I, I you know, I, I, I ranted on about all the things that went wrong. Because <laughs> you're traveling and things right. just happen. You you know, fall down the stairs, you lose right. your apartment, you uh, what else do we do? We, uh, difficult to get a oh, taxi. Yeah, difficult to get a taxi because I, I use a mobility scooter when I travel. And uh, we got to the restaurant and it's closed and you yeah. know our, Yeah. So anyway, I, I ranted on a little bit, but then I did, you know, some of the bests and yeah, the, the best. And I love your totally. ending. Yeah. Paris is always a good idea. <laughs> and then I decorated my, the back, the back. Cover. Yeah. yeah. And there was, oh, wait, who was it? Sharon said she's going to Paris just so she can take the, take those photos. So how about that? <laughs> Traveling take, from Australia too, right, Sharon? Take, <laughs> Why not? Take, take tours. <laughs> you know, tour, tours yeah. are a little bit expensive, but it's so worth it mm. because you get to see so much more than what you can find on your own, even if you do three years of research like mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah. And, 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 this, and this, this is, is Photoshop again. We yeah. should tell them. And, yeah. and things still go wrong. And things still go Their wrong. Flights, right. we, missed, we missed a flight on the way back. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, just, you just have to oh. roll with it. And I have to show you. So can we get a little closer right here? Sorry, guys, the thing's in the way. Uh, but show them right here. Oh, yeah. I put the, the days and, and the weather like you would it, like a newspaper would. Like a newspaper. Isn't that cute? Sorry, guys. Uh, anyhow, but I loved that. Um, that bit of little bit of, you know, added detail. So this was her itinerary and the days that she was on her trip and then even adding the weather in there. I think that's so cute. And I did it later so I could look it up on Google. Right. The weather channel or somewhere. Anyway, so there's um, 63 peekaboo pockets that are four by sixes. There are six five by seven peekaboo pockets. There's eight six by twelves. And four four by fours and one um, we will not name six by eight <laughs> from another company. Yeah. <laughs> um, of the printed photos, I have 129 four by sixes, seven 12 by twelves, and twelve five by sevens. Um, anybody want to take a guess how much my this is cost? important? You guys listen to this. Does, does anybody want to take a guess? Guess. You guys guess. Guess how much the album cost. The album cost. All of it together. All of it. The pictures, come on. the peekaboo pockets. It takes them a minute to, for it to come up in the <laughs> chat. But let me see if there was um, um gorgeous album. Let's see. Amazing, amazing. So we're going to we're gonna wait for some of your guesses to come through. Custom album cover and pages. Yeah. So oh, yeah, it is definitely. I didn't do the album cover. Right. But I did do the spine. <laughs> yes. Carrie's got just a whole bunch of claps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing album. Once in a lifetime trip. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Gorgeous. Amazing. Thank you for sharing. Truly beautiful. Fabulous. They all loved it. I told you. <laughs> I told you you guys would. I knew it. Okay. So, Beatrice and, says $65. Do a, a, okay. Do we have another? Do we have do a custom? Oh, the spine. spine. Yeah, there it is. Gorgeous. Yes. So you can put pretty. it back on us if you want. Yeah. All right. So um, we have 65. We have. Oh, no. What, um, 150. Page? Okay. So Nancy uh, said 500. A normal set of pages. Right. Are what? $29 with page protection? $29.50, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the Fausta Fab are $32.50. And you would have to use two of them for this album. Right. Um, the ones that I've printed are fifty nine fifty. Let me put this over. So it's fifty nine versus thirty two. Right. So which is you, you not that little, much of a difference. You pay a little bit more to have them printed. Right. But you can also put in more peekaboo pockets. Right. Right. So I spent. Um, with without the album, because I forgot to yeah, right. count the album. So without the album, it was three hundred and seventy dollars. Three seventy, and you know, you guys, that's really not a lot when you think of the memories that you have captured, right? With this, which is really really amazing. So so, so now yeah. now I get to go work on because we did after this we went to, went to Amsterdam for four days. Yeah. So I have another album to do for Amsterdam. And then I did a uh, custom album cover and pages. I'm going to come back to us. That's Disneyland Paris because we came back to Paris for two days and went to Disneyland. <laughs> Sorry. It's still going to be in there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So... I, I know. I bet that's going to be just amazing. And then you are also saying that you were going to. So this was 16 custom printed uh, album pages. Twice. Twice. Two. Two. Two, 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 two sets. Two yeah. sets. Yeah. And then she had that one extra page. But then that yeah. will be on your next set. So yes. she intends to make that digital too. Yeah. yeah. So that's so, so fun. Um, okay. I wanted to see if there were any other, while Debbie's here in-house, 
friends. Let me um, let me just kind of get this a little better. I'm trying to get the there there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Any questions for her? So uh, <laughs> we just have some more prices coming in. <laughs> Five hundred, two hundred, a lot. Uh, Three hundred, Laura, you are the closest. Maybe we should give. Wait, how much? Right, you said three. Oh well, and and I do have I have one more page because um, I have memorabilia mm -hmm. that didn't okay. make it here. Oh. We're gonna go back back Excuse overhead. Me. Yeah. Um. So one second here, guys. There we go. Yeah. So I I I have. You know, you gotta keep the bag from. Where you bought your macaroons at the <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> it's all about the yeah. food. <laughs> right? It's just, you know, so I, 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 I'm yeah, still in contact. Like a... It's a postcard oh. that we got from one of the shops. Okay. So it, it's actually. It's actual old postcard. Yeah. That is so I cool. I can't tell what date, but yeah, it's just old So fun. Postcard. Yeah. But, so we were talking about like how to put this in, whether it's going to Yeah, I, don't, I, I think the top loading would be better than mm -hmm. the side loading. But, mm -hmm. you know, there's some things that never made it. Oh, this is, this is, this is how I figure out. Oh, there you go. My, uh, my trips. <laughs> so, you know, Debbie's says, not, you, sh you should be a not travel organ organ I'm going organized no. at all, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, this, this is how I figure out my, so... what, what we're going to do and how much we're going to spend. So, but we'll just put that over there. Yeah. <laughs> Priceless. I loved I loved that answer. Priceless. Priceless. Exactly. Exactly. Lynette says it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you Absolutely. So much, yeah. I know. I love it. I feel like we're on the prices right. Amy's like 589. <laughs> No, oh, it's 590. <laughs> I love 91. it. 91. Uh, so just tell them the, the, the stats again. So the the album, which includes the pa printed pages, right? Right. Um, the, the, the printed pages were 119. Right. So it's 59.50 times two. So if and you just think about that, you guys. Think about if you were to buy just normal pages, let's just round up 30 bucks. Then how much do you spend on that paper, friends? <laughs> the paper the and paper embellishments. embellishments the, and the all photos. of those. Yeah, the photos. The printing of the photos. So, so photos aren't cheap so, anymore. I mean, yeah. you can, Creative Memories has them for 25 cents if you buy more than 50. Um, I, I know some, mm -hmm. Costco used to have them for 13 cents, but you know, those days are gone. Um, right. Right. They don't even do photos anymore. Um, and that's where actually, you know, it's not so worth it. Everybody's saying so worth it. Yes. Um, how many photos? That's what Lynette was saying. And look at how many photos were in there. Like you could have easily spent $300 just printing the photos. Yeah. So I agree. Um, Sue says it's unbelievable and gorgeous. Yes. And yeah, I think Jennifer, when, when Debbie told me that too, it was less than I figured. I, fa I had the same reaction. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? That's it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, yes. And she does have an award-winning album. Um, Kathy said, what did you think of Disneyland Paris? We are going there too. Um, don't stay at... <laughs> Traveler don't don't stay at the, the Sequoia because the beds are super hard. Oh. But I understand that they're doing a revamp for the Olympics yeah. in 2024. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, they they do have um, quite a few off sites that are really close by, um, Airbnb kind of places that you can rent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would do that. Um, Good advice if you if you. If, yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Someone was asking, mm, about six pounds. No, that, that's more. Yeah, I would say more like 10 pounds. Okay. That's, yeah. But still, I mean, I think this is actually lighter than mine. My Baltic cruise, I don't have it here. I oh. wish I, I did, but, and mine was 100% traditional. It's not as heavy. It's not. Okay. So that's all the peekaboo pockets. 
I know. <laughs> and, um, oh, uh, where did you get the museum page titles? Oh, you missed it. That, so oh. that's on the replay, but Debbie made them. Um, <laughs> you can get paper. Yes. That's already printed. Yes. And, but, but, but she was but, inspired but, by this. But they didn't have the titles that I wanted. So right. I made mine. Right. Right. And maybe they'll now make them. They didn't have the RSA. <laughs> so, they, yeah. They, they have them for everywhere, all over the world. So fun, right? And um, you can access the CM Digital Program, Julie, through creativememories.com. So if you have an advisor, be sure to, you know, click on your advisor. And then you can just go into digital. In fact, let me let me do a screen share and I'll show you. Um Give me one sec. So uh, screen share back here. So if you go to creativememories.com, right? And uh, basically. Yeah, you have to sign in. Sign in to your account. And then um, there's two things I kind of want to show you here. One is you do... Um, Digital, right? Get started digital, or you can do shop. And I think digital. they have digital over here. Whoops, you have to hold on the digital. And then um, it'll prompt you what kind of digital, whoops, sorry guys, what kind of digital do you want um, to do? Do you want to do a custom, do you want to do a custom paper album? Do you want to do a spine? Do you want to do um both a custom album and the refill pages that go along with it. And then, so Debbie picked this one, the custom refill pages. And then once uh, you click on this, it'll prompt you like, what do you want to name it? Um, and yeah, that, you have to tell them yeah, that the pictures are yours. That they're your pictures and Which I just so say, forth. I told them I got them off Google. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then they want you to name it, right. Name your, your, your program. Once you have done that, then you go into the designer and, uh, you can, you know, look at all the different things. Uh, and then the other thing I want to show you is once you have something, you can go to your account and, uh, it's under account, right? And then right here, my custom products, you can go right in here and then you can see all of your digital uh, orders. So like if you know, some of you have purchased my, um, my designed uh, albums, my fur babies, dog and cat. Mm -hmm. So I did the same thing Debbie did, except in the little eight by eight books. And um, so you can just scroll through. And so you can do this in stages. And like, if you wanna go back in, you just hit edit. And then you can keep working on it. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to do the whole thing all at once. So just just so you know, they keep your custom products in your account. Just keep saving it. Yeah, just keep saving it. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So that's the, the designer. And um, like I said, so you just get there, get there it, through creativememories.com. But again, Debbie did a lot of this work and then pulled in her artwork, her created artwork as a JPEG, and then use that as your background. So if you're interested in learning more about that, leave a comment for us and say, yes, we'd love to learn more from Debbie and Lauren about how to, you know, do hybrid scrapbooking. And we might um, be able to put a class together for you. So definitely leave us a comment about that. And then um, while we're here on the screen share, I just want to remind you of a couple things. Um, so on my website, there is um, the uh, Scrap Some Joy shop. And I'm going to come back to this page in just a second. And there are a couple new things I wanted to point out. One is um, the uh, Croptoberfest class. Okay. So if you, I've, some of you have, I've gotten a lot of questions about my Croptoberfest class and I added, um, a tab right here to the front on how to get the workshop. This is a brand new format for me 
where you go in and it's all modular. So you get to go in and um, do all the cutting in one video. Then you do, we do all our page kits in the next video. And then the next video is all the two, you know, each two page spread. So it's, it's very modularized and I, I really enjoy putting it together that way. And it's all web-based. So you don't need to have a social account. I know I had people who said, I'm not on Facebook, Lauren. So is there any other way I can take your class? So and you can take it anytime you want, anytime you want. It lives in your account on my website. And then I added this recently about what you need for this class and it's just a, you click the plus and then there's a, a list of everything that I use to create the pages. And this is great, too, for someone who doesn't live in the United States because they can right. still get it. Yes. Yeah. And a word on the um, shapes that I did use, uh, those are a limited supply. So whatever is in my shop, um, you know, my assistant's like, no more die cutting, please, Lord. <laughs> We're done. We've had a lot of time spent on die cutting. So we're going to kind of take a break. Uh, what's in the shop is what's in the shop. So if you want the extras like these leaves and, and hearts and goodies, you need to um, get those. And then um, speaking of what's new is um, in my shop. <laughs> yeah, I say no more die cutting. And then what am I going to do? show you some more die cutting. Um, <laughs> I have a brand new, because my quick cuts card class um, was so popular, I decided to do another design and I have a quick cuts card class Christmas cheer. And this is pre-order. So let me just give you a little sneak peek of what that looks like. And um, Basically, it is, <clears throat> it will be a kit-based um, collection as well. So you're going to get all of these gorgeous, thank goodness, gold. The gold came back because um, the uh, shimmer, gold shimmer paper, I've created some die cuts for you. And we are going, it, it'll come with 12 blank cards. Oh, those are pretty. The, the, thank you. <laughs> You're going to get the little uh, twine, the red and gold twine. And then, um, let me see if I can show you a little better. And then a um, template on, we're going to, and, and I'm going to do a video instruction on this as well. And uh, how to do 12 different cards. So doesn't the gold just... Yeah, it was Looks it gorgeous. makes it, I'm telling you, so it makes it. These are the open house embellishments and they're only available through advisors. So your kit will have the open house embellishments. You're going to need four sheets of paper again to do the designs. And I have a whole new cutting guide. So all these are totally different from the last cutting guide I did. Um, and you'll get the box of cards, the um, embellishments, little pack of uh, open house embellishments and then this die cut shape. So that is what the pre-order is. I wanted to just kind of let you see that. Uh, a new card for my card makers who love to piece things together and do all that good stuff. So um, you have your first little sneak peek of that. <laughs> okay, so let me come back to the chat and yeah, Debbie, you can swing that out of the way. I'm going to, um, whoops, come back. Here we are. <laughs> there we go. This isn't what I want. And let's see any other questions for Debbie. Let me check the chat. Um, so the weight we talked about how much it weighs, um, on each side, a new flop stopper on each side of the opening. <laughs> Holy cow. Organization is out of this world. It's true, Sandy. She is very, very organized. Um, let me just see if I had... How long did it take? Well, you said you've been working on it for a year, for but, a year. but it's not like it's constant. Right, right. And then let's see, what else? Did you create all of your 12 by 12s in another program? I think we answered that one. And then dropped them in, yes. Only the ones that I did digitally. Right, right. Other, other than that, I did it in the program. Right. So kind of 
a hybrid for that too. Mm -hmm. Some, some designed with Photoshop and some designed with the CM program that we were showing you. So yes, a lot of people saying definitely would love a class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and it really is fun. Yeah. I had a lot of yeah. fun. And that's, that's why we do this because yeah. it's fun. Yeah. And Terry said she did all the sections of Croptoberfest. I'm so glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> Debbie's, Debbie got it. She's yeah, like, I, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's going to work on that, too. I, she's been a little busy. Yeah, been a little, little busy. Yeah. And <laughs> working. Yeah. Well, yeah. 80, 80, 80 more days. Oh, she's on the road to retirement. <laughs> yeah. 80 more days. So it's so fun. It, Debbie lives Hopefully. about 20 minutes from me. And we first met. She was just a customer. Yep. who wanted to come by and Pick grab some, some stuff. Yeah. And then be from that became an advisor and then what you know just kind of got to know each other over time and yeah. and I keep still picking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then she showed this to me and I was like, "Oh, you've got to share that." <laughs> oh, so I'm so glad. Thank you so much for oh, doing you're that. You're welcome. And um thank everybody for watching. Yeah. This, this kind of long <laughs> it, it was, but worth it. So worth it. I think this is going to be one of those videos that you'll want to go back and rewatch and just look at how she put that album together because there's a lot. And if you want my itinerary, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> She's I'll, got that. I'll tell you what to do in Paris. That's right. So Kathy, if you want that, <laughs> I'll get you in touch. <laughs> okay. So um, without any other questions, I think we will wrap up. That was a, a, a long session, yeah. but we did. We did it. it. Fun. Very fun. So um, thank you all again for joining us. If you are a pop crop member, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. We will be on at 12. The um, border, I'm still working on the handouts for that. That'll be up later tonight. And also the email with the Zoom link will be up later tonight. So um, I've been a little busy here with Debbie <laughs> today. So once that's up, you'll have access. And then always remember, you can find it in the member area, everything that you need in the member area for tomorrow. All right, friends. So thank you so much. Debbie, Debbie, you're awesome. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. gosh. So Making much for joining blush. us. <laughs> <laughs> and you should go back and read all the comments of oh, yeah, how many people were amazed by your album. So thank you again, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.